Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. This is a How I Clean My Makeup Brushes and I am going to be using the Isoclean Makeup Brush Cleaner for this. This by far is the best brush cleaner that I have ever used for cleaning brushes. I've tried so many products but nothing brings them out as clean as this product does. It is incredible, they do makeup artist discount. As well, if you're a makeup professional, um, you are able to apply for an account to be able to do that. However, if you aren't, then I've popped a discount code down in the box at the bottom. Um, so I'm just going to be showing you the process that I do and telling you a little bit more information about the product itself and why it's so important to clean your makeup brushes. So this product is really inexpensive. I'll pop the prices of each bottle down below so you can see. And a little bit goes a really long way. This lasts me a couple of months at a time and as I said they're really inexpensive so it's not a problem rebuying these. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the dip tray, pour a little bit of product in the bottom, take your makeup brush and just start swirling it around into the product. So as you can see, you can see the products coming off of the brush into the product itself. You're just going to tap off the excess and then you're going to take some kitchen roll place a brush and start swirling it around this helps to get remove the dirt and products and also to help dry your brush you just need to keep swirling this around until your brush comes up clean kitchen roll is the most effective thing to use for this process because it's textured it gets in between the bristles a lot easier i've tried tissue and face wipes and nothing works like kitchen roll um so this brush cleaner is really exceptional in terms of for example, this brush had gel eyeliner on. I'm just swirling it around in the product again, and then I'm going to be taking it onto a kitchen roll. And just, if you need a little bit more products, if there's still some stuff coming off onto kitchen roll, dip it back in and go back to the kitchen roll. I would use probably one pour of the products for two of these kind of brushes. And then in terms of the face brushes, because they're a lot bigger, I would probably use fresh products for each one in terms of cleaning them. So this is if I'm doing a deep clean after a long day of doing clients, I'll come home and do a thorough clean of every single brush. Um, obviously this is really important to keep your brushes clean, especially if you're working on clients, even, even on your own brushes, but especially if you're using them on someone else, because a lot of things can get transmitted through um, makeup brushes. You know, bacteria, infections, and I'll name a couple of those in a little bit as well um, and the reasons why it's so important. So this product is amazing, especially getting cream products out is absolutely no problem. And the important thing to remember is, although we're looking for the makeup brush to come out clean onto the kitchen roll, sometimes you'll notice the brush doesn't look exactly like how you purchased the brush, you know, the white bristles at the end. This is because it's staining. This product gets everything off, as you will see once you're wiping it onto the kitchen roll this is exactly what it's doing um so like i said this is for a more thorough clean so i'm also going to show you what i do for between clients a lot of things can be transferred through makeup brushes things like conjunctivitis dyes even acne which is quite shocking really um so it's really important that you're getting them so in between clients i take some kitchen roll i don't actually use the dip tray i pour a little bit of the product onto the kitchen roll. I take the makeup brush and swirl it directly onto the product and into the kitchen roll. This helps take away any bacteria in between clients, but it saves the, you know, the mess of having the dip tray. So it's really important that you keep on top of your brushes, not only if you, you are a makeup artist and you're working on clients, but also for your own. If you do suffer with acne, try cleaning your makeup brushes and you might really notice a difference with it. 85% um, of women actually use products such as shampoo or dish soap to clean them, but these aren't antibacterial. And 72% of women admit to never washing their makeup brushes, which I used to be guilty of before I became a makeup artist and learned how important it was. One in five people are, aware, are not aware that they need to. 22% um, of people say that it takes too long to clean them for the brushes to dry, which for this product you don't have that problem with. 60 seconds and they are dry. 19% just buy new brushes, which I used to be one of them, those 19%. 100% would recommend this product. Like I said, it is the best one that I've used, tried, tested, 
and it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria on makeup brushes, which is exactly what you're looking for. So if you do have any questions about how I clean mine, about the product itself, please just pop them in the comment box below and I will get back to you. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like and leave me a little bit of comment if you're feeling it. Thank you very much.